So here we are. We are just over a week out of the Arnold Classic Australia. I'm gonna go hit some shoulders now and then explain to you guys a little bit about what my thought process is at the moment, how I'm feeling emotionally, mentally, physically. I'm also gonna to explain to you guys about my plans to change, what I'm gonna be changing the peak week next week leading into Arnold Classic Australia to making that a little bit better than the Melbourne Championships. And also I'm gonna go into detail about my cheat meal, my epic cheat meal I had last night. I'm um, explain to you guys why I eat, what I eat, and um, yeah, I'm feeling really good. Left and level is super high today. Let's go smash some shoulders. Right, so just finished off a shoulder workout. I had a bit of a shoulder issue that I've had now, you know, for the last couple of years that kind of came back on again. It's come on back in the last few weeks because I've been really tired and lethargic. Um, and I always find that when I slouch a little bit and my traps come into play, um, it just pulls tightness to my rear delt, my right hand side, my infraspinatus, and it just starts getting a bit achy. So it's quite, when I get that pump, it makes the shoulder work a little bit hard. It's okay in the off season, we'll tackle that with my therapist and we'll get that all going fresh again uh, when everything's good to go. Uh, it's crazy. We're just over a week at Arnold Classic, which is awesome. I'm super excited about that. Mentally, I'm feeling really, really good about this. Um, also, probably because my leptin levels are quite high today because of my crazy cheat meal last night, which I do actually do each week. I'll talk to you guys about that soon. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good mentally. I feel like um, I feel like in life, if you want to achieve something, if you want to go somewhere in life, you need to believe you can do it. And I really, really do believe I can do this. So um, I'm mentally, I'm giving everything I possibly can, and I'm feeling really good. Physically, uh, apart from my little shoulder niggle, I'm, I'm definitely in the best shape ever. Uh, I've maintained my fullness a lot longer this time than last time. Uh, I'm, in that, I'm in a really good position right now to try and maintain my fullness coming into the Arnold Classic, um, and then I'm, not gonna, I'm just not gonna deplete as hard coming in. A little bit my, about my peak week, this time I'm gonna change as opposed to last time coming to Melbourne Championships, is I kind of, you kind of don't. Really, sometimes you don't really know the difference between fluid retention and body fat. I mean, yeah, you can, you can get your a scan done, or you can get your fats measured, you can get the fat calipers, or whatever you want to do. Um, but to me, I like to use the mirror, and, and I wanted to really push my body as far as I possibly could from the Melbourne show to see how lean and condition I could possibly get. Um, so I feel like in in the Melbourne show, I depleted for probably a few too many days. Usually, I do a two or three, maybe max three and a half day deplete. This time, I did a five day deplete, which I felt was a little bit too long. So when I went to put those carbs back in on the uh, what the Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday, um, I just feel like my body wasn't responding as well to the, to the, the, the glycogen as it usually would. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I don't deplete for as long this time. Probably just going to do a three day deplete. And one thing that I missed out on, um, which I'm, I'm completely okay with, is that on the day of the show, with all my guys that were competing from TFM, I made sure, I made a commitment to those guys, I mean, they mean the world to me, that I wanted to put those guys first and make sure their preps came first and make sure they were good with their preps and they were good with jumping on stage and everyone was happy. So I made sure I put them first. It's kind of mean that, you know, my, my day to myself kind of lacked a little bit and before you knew it, you know, I was, I was on stage within five minutes of not even getting a tan on and didn't really get a chance to pump up or really didn't get, get much of a chance to put the sodium back in as I would have wanted to. So I want to stage a little bit flat and every single time I hit those poses, my body just seemed to flatten out um, under those big lights. Also, um, my cortisol was quite high as well coming out of that show because a little bit of stress, you know, the last five minutes when you're definitely not ready for it, um, yeah, it kind of all hit me at once. So I'm gonna make sure if you're Arnold Classic, I get the guys all organized from TFM, um, and then I'm gonna make sure those last two days leading the show is all about me, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, also with Arnold Classic Australia, we it's a two-day show, so we do the pre-judging on Saturday in the plenary hall. I'll be on stage around about 12, or in between 12 and three o'clock, depending on how the show runs. And the Sunday will be the finals. If I make the finals, hopefully we do, fingers crossed. Uh, like I said, again, you gotta believe you can do it, so I, I believe I can do it. Uh, the Sunday, I'm gonna be on stage at about 10 a.m., so, so basically every single week, I didn't want to explain to, to, to you guys about all my previous cheat meals, really because people kind of don't really understand why I do and what I do. I wanted to kind of make that condition first and prove to the world that I can bring that crazy condition and still enable myself to have those cheat meals. So um, I, do, I do do that every single week. I upload on Facebook, if you guys want to have a check on my Facebook page, it's Nathan James Williamson. I upload on my Facebook page uh, probably half of the food that I ate. Um, it probably equates to like, you know, 20,000 calories that I consume in a 12 hours period, which is crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but 
Um, to me, there's a massive process that goes into that. If you guys want to learn more about that, I'll give you a quick rundown. Um, basically, what I do is I detoxify my body, my body, make sure my liver's working really good, my colon's nice and cleansed the day before the cheat meal. Um, I do like a 12 hour intermediate fast for the first half of the day as well, leading into that cheat meal, and then I consume a lot of calories at once. Now, not everyone can do this, um, not everyone has got a cast iron stomach. I was just born with that. Um, so, obviously, it needs to be adjusted per individual. But if you guys want to learn more about what I do, why I do, um, it's some good fun. It's that reward system that I think is awesome. I do some crazy hacker dieting throughout the week. I do no, a lot of no carbohydrate days. Um, and then I reward myself in the, the week with a big cheat meal. So instead of you know tackling a 20 week bodybuilding prep into the Arnold Classic, it's crazy, but thought think of, they think of trying to do a 20 week prep. Um, and then that's your, end, yeah, that's your end reward. For me, my reward is week to week, I get to go out and have some fun and have a cheat meal. And that's what keeps me in my diet throughout the week. So yeah, you know, six and a half days a week, my diet is spot on perfect. And just 12 hours between 3 p.m. on Sunday afternoon and 3 a.m. Sunday after, uh, uh, Monday morning is when I, when I have my cheat meal, cheat day, whatever you want to call it, cheat 12 hour session. Um, and, and that's when I just go, you know what? Me, Jules, Kelly, whoever wants to come along, um, we just go and we have that, we have a really fun time, cortisol is super low, endorphins flowing through the roof, we eat wherever we want to eat, we laugh, we have coffee, um, we, we do everything. So it's really, really fun um, and I think that's really, really important. You know, you really need to enjoy your prep and you really need to enjoy what you're doing. So we are just had one week out of Arnold Classic Australia. Next week for you guys, I'm gonna go into more detail about my peak week protocol. I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit more insight about day for day, what I do in the lead up to Arnold Classic Australia. To keep updated with next week's video, like the Bulk Powders Australia Facebook page.